I, fuck, I really only wrote the first letter of my last name? Fuck. Like, I thought the jean shorts were the bottom. People who saw my last set might have been asking, how are you doing? I think those two things are telling you. Fuck, like, I'm wearing jean shorts. That means <laughs> I was real hot and my one pair of shorts were dirty. <laughs> and like, I'll wear a pair of pants for three weeks so you know they were dirty. <laughs> Fine, whatever. <laughs> and... <laughs> I won't because I decided rather than buy another pair of shorts, I would ruin a pair of jeans. <laughs> and then I had to ask my partner to help me. Could you cut the legs off of my pants? <laughs> I'm getting sweaty. <laughs> so, here it is. I was praised. I, I did a set like freaking out last week, and people were like, that was incredible! That is a great new character you have! And one person knew it wasn't a character, they were like, I, like, you know, I care about you and you like your mental health and stuff, but that was fucking hilarious. So, I think I might have anxiety and depression. But, like, I haven't gone to the doctor because I get too worried that I'm right. <laughs> and then too sad to leave the house. <laughs> I, uh, I used to tell jokes about suicide all the time, but, like, I, I actually had mistaken cries for help for jokes. Like, <laughs> as it turns out, just describing your thoughts of suicide aren't jokes. <laughs> I had just finished a set with, I was driving and I thought if I had my gun in my car, I'd shoot myself in the cornfield so no one had to clean it up. <laughs> that was my finisher! <laughs> Sorry, baby. But I've got and it's kind of like why I didn't write jokes anymore. And I, I set aside time to write jokes again. And guess what I thought about? Thank you. So here are the two jokes I wrote. When does thinking about suicide become thoughts of suicide? <laughs> I've texted that to people. Because I'm that person. And their responses are always like, well, I don't know. <laughs> there isn't a louder cry for help than that. What I am sending you is, I'm thinking about committing suicide. Tell me a doctor because I can't make that decision myself. And they're like, I don't know, sometimes I do too. It's pretty normal. Maybe you should do it more. <laughs> the other joke was, I have a handgun in my house because I'm afraid of home invasion. I don't know where the keys are to the lock because of the last five minutes. <laughs> Like, anxiety is a crazy fucking thing. Like, it's not logical. Like, it, it could be you fuck up your password to the computer at work, and suddenly suicide's an option. <laughs> and it's not A to B. It's, oh, I messed up my suicide. I'm a, I messed up my suicide. <laughs> That's next week. <laughs> Oh, I messed up my password. I'm a fucking web developer. I should know how to put in a goddamn password. <laughs> I should know how to put in a goddamn password. I'm gonna get fired.
fired for incompetence. I won't be able to provide for my family. Suicide's an option. <laughs> and then, what I do, because of the depression, is I get really apathetic and I don't find out where the keys are. <laughs> <laughs> I put on a movie for my daughter after work and eat Ovaltine with a spoon. <laughs> it's just like, in the other room, I've got a friend in me. And like, in the kitchen with the lights off, it's, hello darkness, my <laughs> So I was getting the mail <laughs> today. Sure. And a pickup truck drives by, and someone out their open window just yells, Faggot! <laughs> and I thought, how'd they know? <laughs> my nickname in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on them. They call me self-centered now. <laughs> <laughs> this has just become therapy. <laughs> Thank you all for indulging. I have been Jeff Cromwell.